The Tune Transparent can be found under Sassy Library Materials Base. You can drag and drop it onto your object. And then under the Materials tab, we can adjust the base color, the sensitivity to light, the rim light, the depth of the shadows. It's a little harder to see because it is mostly transparent. And then the uh, depth of the transparency. So one thing to note about this one, like the uh, glass bubble material, the show back face setting is fairly important here. Do you want to be able to see through this to the other side? Or do you want this to simply be, and it's a little tougher to see without another object to verify, but uh, we'll have a sphere here. So we can verify she is transparent. We can see through her, but when we're looking at the front, we're not also seeing the back. So that setting is just under here, show back face. So depending on the look you're going for, you may want that on. Um, I find my general rule of thumb is I usually want it on for the glass bubble and I usually want it off for this so I can see a, a cleaner mesh that just happens to be transparent. And then we also have the same surface settings with this that we do with the others. Again, we can use a, an image texture instead of the color. We can adjust the surface input, which is like a bump, normal uh, effect that's being applied to the surface of the mesh. We can apply that to the light bands. Now we can see there's breakup along those bands of light, or we can apply it or any other texture to the rim light to get uh, that same effect on the rim light, although it's maybe not as apparent on this particular... There we go, it's a little more apparent probably harder to see. Let's turn that transparency all the way off. So yeah, now you can see the brush strokes in the rim light versus the noise texture on the light band. And it is also sensitive to colored light. So we have our green light, our blue light, and our red light.